And uh, let's talk to the townsfolk a bit. Before we continue with our next job. Oh? I heard rumors that some fiends appeared in the mine. I wonder if my husband is alright. Oh, I think he's fine. But I understand why she's worried. Recently, my father has been grumbling about something. I wonder what's on his mind. Today, I'm gonna stay with my papa and help him out with some things around the house. My papa's so happy when I stay with him. Hey there, Estelle, Joshua. I heard that the two of you have been pretty active. You're even being referred to as a new, hopefully embracer is around town. I should have expected as much from Cassius' kids. Oh, yeah, she was talking about that earlier. <laughs> you have my sympathies. I guess. Hmm. Okay, I actually should have more of this. Actually, no, I have a couple of those. Hmm. One of these could be useful for emergencies. And I think that's all I'll buy from here for now. I secretly decided to... Yeah. It, it, it's not a secret. He knows you're doing it. that we have. <laughs> okay, anything here that I don't have yet? Uh, spikes! Shoes with pointy non-skid soles. Also, I don't have silver earrings or a black bangle. But let's buy spikes. Because it seems like the thing to do. I mean, you know, I can afford it, so why not? Let's actually, uh, no, no. There we are. You can equip that, and you can equip that. And you can equip this. There we, no, no, that's wrong. Huh? Are my eyes deceiving me? Estelle, you... Your eyes have really begun to look like your mother's, haven't they? Uh... Really? Aww. That's... That's a sweet little moment right there. I'm glad I saw it. Do I care about the guy up here? I mean, not really, but... Oh? Interesting. I may not care about you, Ridge, but you are a wealth of interesting information. <laughs> yeah, at this rate, we're gonna surpass you in, like, three days flat. Because, uh, that's a thing, right? Oh? Interesting. Mm -hmm. 
is rather unusual for Luke, but it seems like he went to Sunday school like he was supposed to the other day. I wonder if there is something fun going on. Head is a good friend with a girl named Yuni. Her father always comes to see her off and pick her up from Sunday school. I'm a bit jealous of their good relationship. The kingdom is sandwiched in between two powerful nations. The, the Arbonian Empire to the north and the Calvard Republic to the east. But uh, it has proudly maintained its independence since the country was founded. Neat. Okay then. Well, uh, let's head in here. Miss Murano, we better get back to the bus. Or we'll miss our next... Actually, that's Bose, isn't it? Or we'll miss our next business meeting. I'm sure the mayor is waiting to hear our report as well. Ah, uh, I want El Esmelas. Esmelas. Found in the Melga Mine for my own private collection. She wanted the crystal. The mayor, of course. The other day, Shara Zard came for a drink and... Well, she was just as unbelievable as you said, Estelle. I don't even dare say what she did. Ah, oh, man, I'm starving. No, I don't... There we are. Uh, I have... Eight Mira. Hmm. Maybe I won't buy anything. <laughs> so the bracer combo has been having a great showing is the two of you. Maybe I should brag that these same bracers were the friends of my daughter. Yeah, m maybe you should do that. Let's see what happens. Okay. Whatever am I to do? I hope those bracers will show up soon. Do you hear? Did I hear you say that you're looking for a couple of bracers? Why, we're a couple of bracers! Uh, yes. Yes, it does. <laughs> Everyone wants a piece of fat Joshua, it seems. There certainly seem to be a lot of people with the name Bracer these days. Uh... Does this mean that you are brother and sister or something like that? Uh, well, we are, but I think you're confusing what a Bracer is. You know, that's got to be it. When people have the same name, it usually means they're family. Uh, hmm... <laughs> okay then. I feel like this is an Estelle plan, Joshua. Um. Okay, th but uh, okay then. My goodness, for such a cute little dumpling, you sure catch on quick. Young boys are so considerate, uh, hmm. Hmm. Oh, that's right. I am, I am. I am so distressed. My little Ariel hasn't come home. I carelessly dozed off here at the calf, and she vanished! My little kitten, she's so snuggly wuggly. Oh, and if I might add, it's not just her face that's so cute, but her personality as well. You have to think of... Hmm. The color of the evening sun in autumn shining down upon a field of wheat. Gold? <laughs> 
think she's just out running around somewhere. So if you do find her, please bring her back. Okay then. Hmm. Just leaving that one right alone, I guess. Uh, let's just quickly backtrack to the area I've already looked in. Check for corners and balconies. Okay, the cat is not back here. I didn't really think it would be. That, that's, that's why I did that part first. Um... There's that jerk. Uh, four and after the Queen's birthday celebration is when the airliners are the most crowded. Now, if I just had a girlfriend, I could take her to see the sights in the royal city. What I wouldn't give to see our queen, who never gave in to the powerful emperor and opposing minister just once. And of course, I mustn't forget her granddaughter, Princess Claudia. Yeah, get your mind out of the gutter. Oh, it's the cat! Hmm, yeah, I guess we better hurry after that. Oh, whoops, I've gone the wrong way. Uh, after the war, Melder's son restored this clock tower using an ornament. I'm a little saddened by the fact that the number of things I maintain has decreased. <laughs> this just means that the era has changed. Okay, after the cat for real this time! I swear, if it goes into the damn sewer. Oh. Okay. Well, I didn't see it run into the sewer, so I'm going to assume that it did not. I'm not sure where it did go either, though. Like, seriously, I have no idea. Where did the cat go? <laughs> the other day, I snuck out to see my son-in-law working in the woods. He appeared to be working hard in his own way. Yet somehow he seemed to be lacking something. Hmm. I see. Come to think of it, if Roland was l d destroyed during the war, then that means most of the city was rebuilt in the last ten years. Food for thought, that. Is it true that the people from the magazine company are staying here? Well, you're certainly right about that. Do you have some business with them? Actually, we're here representing the guild to cooperate with them on getting that story. Really, is that so? Then I regret to inform you that the both of them are out at the moment. The reporter fellow said something about heading over to the bar. Okay then, uh, I guess we'll do that later. I actually forgot that they were in here, otherwise I wouldn't have come in right now. But uh, oh, oh well. <laughs> Next is the Bose region for us. Speaking of Bose, the Bose market is what I'm looking forward to the most. I hear there are a lot of rare items from the Empire displayed in the stores. Okay then. Well, it is go! We're scheduled to head to Bose on the next airliner. Looks like. Okay. Oh! Hmm, interesting.
Well, good afternoon, Miss Stone Joshua. Do you by any chance come for a visit? Would you like a spot of tea? Uh, she is just precious. Right, okay, let's track down that damn cat. It must have gotten off to somewhere. I didn't see exactly where it ran off to, though, is the problem. Okay, not here. I think I've concluded that. Okay, so I saw it here when I was over here. Maybe it ran... But maybe it was a cutscene thing and it actually ran this way? Maybe. Okay then. Nope. And... No. Okay. The cat is not here. Where is the damn cat? Okay, so... If it was a cutscene thing... I mean, the cat was definitely here, right? So, oh, there we go. I had to come at it at the right angle. I already went through here, but, you know, whatever. Hmm. Did the cat go into the sewer? No, you're not helpful. At least it's not in the sewer. Well, we're closer this time. Oh, it went into the church! I wonder what Joshua is gonna say. Well, I guess we'll wait. I could have sworn I heard something going up the stairs just now. I wonder if it was just my imagination. Stay right there and... This is a good way to get covered in claw marks. Also, there's a that. I, I know that, but it's not like there's any other way to catch her. Come here, Arrow. It's alright. Come this way. I'm sorry the big bad Estelle scared you off like that. Come on, let's go back and see your owner. That's a good girl. All right, let's go. Your owner is waiting for you. And that's pretty much everything that happened. I'm pretty sure that Arrow is on her way back to was on her way back to see you from the beginning. Each time we saw her, she had been walking towards the cap. There's a chance that because of us, she ended up coming back this late. Uh, don't be silly. You two brought her back safe and sound. I'm really grateful to the both of you. But especially you, Mr. Bracer. You are just the cat's meow. <laughs> uh, yeah. I'd like to... Uh, hmm. Hmm. No, no, you, you've gone too far.
Well, okay then. <laughs> let's let's report that. Oh hey, we got it. Great. Good work. It seems like you've completed your objective. No special text here. Okay, um, I was told to check in the bar, so I want to go here. Is that? No, he's he's right there. He's at the damn bar. Okay, so I'm actually going to stop up here because uh, it's, get, it's starting to get a little bit late, but uh, also, more importantly, just my throat is really sore. I haven't actually gotten out of the prologue yet, which sucks, but... Um, yeah, prologue. But I don't think I, I'm not sure I'll be able to talk tomorrow if I do this for another two hours. And I need to be able to talk tomorrow. So I'm going to stop off here. Uh, thank you for joining me. And uh, next week we really will for sure finish that damn prologue. Um, and uh, until, until then, this has, be, this has been Trails... And uh, have a good day, or night, or morning, evening, whatever time of day it is for you. So, uh, bye!